the dark of the tunnel. Mario Fennec will lead this South Sydney side out onto the paddock in search of a rare win. They're back on track last round. The fans hoping for a lot better even tonight. Some of these players starting to find some form at last. Sarbs at fullback, O'Neill, O'Day, Thompson, Longbottom, Blake, Coleman, Maven, Davidson, Carroll, Blackburn, Fennick the skipper, Lyons, George Piggins the coach. We wait for the, uh, as the South Sydney players settle themselves on the ground. Those flags haven't flown too much this year. Uh, Les Davidson is out for a big one tonight. I really do think we'll see a very torrid forward exchange. We talked about South Sydney's problems. Well, the North Sydney Bears have had quite a good start to the season. In fact, they've won three matches on the trot. And Tony Ray leads the Bears down the tunnel and onto the Sydney Football Stadium. And the veteran Pat Jarvis you see there in the lineup as well. It has been a very consistent North Sydney side over the last few weeks. Three wins on the trot, as I say. Conlon is fullback. Egan, French, Florimo, Hall on the other wing. Martin and Soden are the halves and the forwards. Billy Moore, Bruce Sinclair, a late change comes into the side at the expense of David Fairley. Uh, Adrian Tool, Alexander Ray and Jarvis and Steve Martin is the coach. Busy man this year, Eddie Ward is in charge of this Nissan Friday night clash. Soden and Martin, young halves going places. Eddie Ward gets us underway. Through the hands of Ray, Moore. Flying over the top was Carroll. It was their forwards that produced the win last week's house. Now they're caught early on the second tackle of this match inside the five. Well, they want to get out of that right from the word go. I hope George Piggins has got them disciplined tonight because they're, they need all the help they can get on stringing together penalties is not going to be very useful. Now have a look at the lower grades now. A very close go in uh, under 21s. North Sydney 14, South Sydney 12. And uh, in the reserve grade, South Sydney came from behind and they won 20 points to 14. David Hall from dummy half. On a short blind side is Conlon. Interesting to see how much the Bears will miss David Fairley in this one. Alexander driven sideways in the tackle. Ray. Pass was forward and offside. Good decision from Eddie Ward. Yeah, clearly forward here. Uh, the uh, Nissan Friday night replay will uh, pick these things up. That was done spontaneously, but uh, he was standing in an offside position when he took the pass. Blake, the touch. Wigan, great year for him in England this year. Not so great with Souths. Lions. Now Carroll. He has been one man who has been consistent for South. And a goodbye for the Rabbits in a disappointing series season, I should say. Lions again. It was Blackburn who took it up before. Blake, short angle. He positioned himself nicely. Is he going to get the ball to roll for him? He will. Left alone by Conlon, only five or six metres from the try line. Yeah, well, that's a splendid kick by uh, Blake. And uh, really, every picture tells a story. Three yards from the corner flag, you can't do much better than that. Well, the half and 5 8 situation for South has been a worry. Both uh, Coleman and Blake with stints in England have looked a little lethargic. Now, the Bears come away with it with David Hall. Sinclair, new man in the team with uh, David Fairley, not able to take his place. Good run. Up to the halfway mark. Now Soden. I think Charlie Sard was a fullback tonight. He certainly played in most positions in the South Sydney side. On bottom dummy half. Made about three or four metres. Now here's Carroll. We're getting up quickly on Carroll and putting him down hard. It's a matter of persistence with him. He'll have to keep going. Fennick. 
Only five metres from the halfway mark. Now Blake. It's down for Conlon. Did well to get there. Right on his own quarter. Evan O'Neill chasing. Good strong defence from South Sydney. <laughs> Kelly Egan. Well, the penalty's gone to, uh, gone to South Sydney. It's against Kelly Egan stepping off the mark. Yes, Egan there, as you'll see, uh, O'Neill had a... <laughs> he must have thought he was a wishbone. He had one of his legs and was walking away with it. But uh, Kelly Egan there was uh, penalised for walking off the mark. I'm not so sure I agree with the penalty. Crawling, at least. Crawling off the mark, maybe. <laughs> First opportunity for points on the board in this game. And Saab has struck this one. One up and one down. The referee Eddie Ward says no goal. So at the football stadium, this and Friday night football, no score, Souths and Norths. Off the field and receiving some attention, Billy Anderson. He's got a nasty cut to the knee. I reckon it's about a 10 to 12 stitch job, Graham. Nathan gives the South Sydney's doctors with him. They haven't got time to stitch him. They're going to get him back on and have a look at it at half time. Down to 12 men waiting for Davidson. Coleman went in search of the football in the scrum. Davidson struggles back to rejoin the play. Long bottom. Good strong run from Dummy Half. He got out of there very quickly. Blackburn. Davidson, one man they can't afford to miss. Well, he tried to get a miracle ball away there. And the scrum will go down with a North Sydney feed. Well, they bred him tough in South Sydney. If I had a 10 or 12 stitch uh, cut on my knee, I'm not so sure I'd be, uh, I'd be out there immediately after it. He certainly wasn't stretching right out when he took that ball up, Les Davidson. And he's still not trying to bend it too much in that second row. It's going to continue to tear on him. They work it from the scrum base. Billy Moore got it back from Sad and they won't catch him. He'll go over next to the post. It came out quick, and Billy Moore was gone, right next to the uprights. Yes, a splendid try from this young fellow. There it was. The halfback got it, gave it back inside. Coleman complaining bitterly, but what's he got to complain about? He was beaten hands down on that occasion. There's Moore in a straight-out 30-metre sprint or 25-metre sprint. There's the pass coming back on the inside to Moore, the lock forward, this young fellow that many people consider will be a kangaroo tourist later in the year. I'm not going to put the accolade on him yet, but uh, there it was, a splendid try indeed. Aided and better by young Soden, the little halfback who did so well last week and scored a brace of tries, and now he's chimed in to make an arrangement for his lock forward to score a good one too. That's the way it goes. Billy Moore, try. Only 19 years of age, he's had an outstanding season for the Bears. Paul Conlon from right next to the upright 18 from 27 in 1990 about to make it 19 one would think A pause at the end of the run hits it sweetly North Sydney off to a nice start they lead six points to nil South's back with the restart through Charlie Saab down for Bruce Sinclair. That happened so quick. Now South Sydney have an opportunity. Thompson picks up the drags. Bad pass away. Maven didn't like to tackle. Eddie Ward has said that Jason Martin made it before the ball came. Yes, I'm inclined to agree with him. Now watch it. Maven tackled as the ball comes into his hands. So just premature. And uh, the little fellow there, Martin, got a bit of a clout on the jaw there for his trouble from Maven, who didn't appreciate the attention at all. Plenty of concentration. Nearly in front of the post and about 23, 24 metres out. No problem with this. Both flags are up on this occasion. They're on the board. North Sydney 6, South Sydney 2. Mark Carroll. Penalties have gone south in his way, 4-2. to two. Just the one try scored in the game. That was to Billy Moore from North Sydney. There's Lyons. Brought down about 
30 metres out. And the penalty's going to go South Sydney's way. Phil Blake. will send this ball well and truly down inside North Sydney Territory. Restart of play by Fennick. Their forwards are coming. Fired up from deep. Blackburn tries to steal a bit on the blind. Long bottom from Dummy Half, straight across. Now he straightens into the North Sydney forwards. Fennick finds Lyons. Coleman stays blindside. Blake is open. Switch of play, looking for Saab. They worked the move nicely. The gap was there for just an instant. Blake stepping. Blake! Blake! Yes! He'll stretch out. His footwork got him there. He stopped and started, but he was too sharp. And in the end, he just reached out. Splendid bit of football by Phil Blake. He's really showing the benefit of all the training he does on his own solo down at uh, a park near where I live. He really came very, very strongly there. Showed a lot of uh, pace and a lot of stepping ability. Soden's the man he beats in the long term there. Got away there from number 10, David Alexander. Florimo, now there's the Soden tackle. He steps right around that and the long arms reach and uh, gets the ball down over the sideline. How many tries have you seen scored up the blind side? Well, there's always a little bit of space on the blind side. Always a great way to travel if you're an attacking side wanting some uh, points on the board. Go the blind side. Phil Blake believes that. And he's got another four-pointer. Professional footballer. The man that John Money wants at Wigan, or back at Wigan, next English season. About six metres in from the touchline. Strikes it beautifully. Only just away at the finish. But North Sydney and South Sydney at the stadium locked together, six all. Now Jarvis. Almost able to get that pass away. Tony Ray from Dummy Half. Got some support too from French. Good tackle there. Needed to be. Working the blind side now. Billy Moore. Looking for try number two, pulled down a metre short. The North Sydney Bears right on the attack. Soden, swamped. Now it's with Martin. This is the last tackle. Up it goes. Still on the ground, being towed ahead, being picked up by David Hall. The touch judge hasn't moved, that's a try. Well, I'm very critical of Manoa Thompson there, the South Sydney centre, who just stood and watched that bit of play. He didn't make any attempt to touch the football. Here on the replay, up goes the bomb. A good high kick. It wasn't a good kick in the context of going forward, but it went sideways. Now, look at Manoa Thompson there with a, the weird haircut. He just stood there. He wasn't interested in going for the ball. And as it, we've uh, seen it uh, happen so many times, the ball has been picked up and uh, the line was found to be close. And the try is on. And that one need never have been scored, in my view. Well, there you are. That's just how easy a try can be scored. It was legitimate because the corner flag was taken after the player went over. So there it is. The way South Sydney have just let this game slip from their grasp for the moment. Thompson behind him, the ball. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Was he offside, Rex? I don't believe so. Well, I don't believe so. on the rebound. He was standing in front of the man. Well, uh, we can all see things different ways. The referee saw it the way I saw it. But I'm well, David Hall's not going to argue about it. No, no, you're quite right. But uh, <laughs> I just thought that uh, Manoa Thompson could have done a lot to make the ball dead there. Could have fallen on the ball, could have done all sorts of things at a different time. Now, Conlon with the conversion attempt. It's not going to hook around for him. Stays out there. No, no extras for him. But uh, the North Sydney Bears leading South Sydney 10 to 6. And this is Friday Night Football. Put down by the Bears. Quick hands and numbers here for South. Blake. Blake. 
Maybe too late now that he unloaded. They still have it through Longbottom. Coleman the dummy. Calls Longbottom inside. Quickly away through the legs of Lyons. Fennick ducked under one tackle. Lions from dummy half. The entire left of the field almost opened up for South Sydney. Coleman, Blake, looking for runners. Blackburn's there, and he's wrapped up quickly. Blake. They had tried to milk it, and they did. From the play of the ball, this penalty will be right in front of the post. Yes, that's for the dummy half being impeded by a tackled player lying on the ground, as you can see, or a tackler. And that's exactly what it was for. Jason Martin was the man in question. Well, well uh, you know, uh, I'm a great believer in what quality the tackles sure, were. Sure. And these have all been quality tackles. Is this a quality kick? It certainly is. Straight through the post. It was an easy one for Charlie Starr, but he, uh, he did it. So uh, South Sydney get to within two points of the Bears. They work well together, the lock and the five and the halfback. They do indeed. Moore's a very uh, spring heel runner himself, and he's got uh, a lot of ability to... Uh, he's got big thighs and big legs. He likes to get the ball in the clear and run. He's a good player. Tony Ray playing it back. Soden, a look for a field goal, and it's going to be there. So Soden is able to add uh, an extra point just on half-time. Uh, quick thinking by the little halfback uh, Mark Soden. Yes, well, we watch it again on the Nissan replay, and this is a beautiful way to finish the first half for Soden and for North Sydney. The little fella takes the odds to the kick. Tony Ray, likewise. They were the tactics from Steve Martin about getting out of that dummy half position. Martin, the little man. And he's got the whole team playing the ball uniformly quickly. They're all trying to get to their feet quickly and play the ball. French touched. He signaled the ball was touched. Now he signals six more tackles. Eddie Ward. Two. Ten metres out North Sydney. They've got five left. Head on tackle was a solid one from Carroll. Eddie Ward has had enough from Phil Blake, I think. He's got five minutes in the bin for back chat or maybe continual offside, I don't know. Billy, you were down there. Did you see what that was for? Eddie Ward continually warned Phil Blake to keep back the five metres, but he just refused to do it, Graham. So this will be a chance for Norse right next to the post. And that's the two points to his tally and to his side's tally. So it's now North's 13 and South's in the 8. It's for Coleman. Away for Brown. They've used up five tackles. They're five metres away now, the Ravenos. It's for Coleman, the little kick ahead. The ball is loose, but the North Sydney side's able to fall on it quite easily in the end. It was a desperate moment for North Sydney, although this little kick it was never going to put them under all that pressure because the North Sydney players were closer to the football than the South Sydney men. But uh, it was a desperate few minutes there, a few seconds there for the North Sydney side. Coleman trying a little chip. It was charged down. It'll be six more. Off Sinclair. Oh. Lions with a good ball out for North Sydney. I know there's been a lot of rain around in Sydney, just how wet's this field, Bill? It's a bit damp on top, Graham, but we saw a tremendous game of open football in the reserve grade, and I would have expected that here, although there is some pretty heavy tackling, and that's jostling the ball loose and maybe just the threat of being tackled. Jarvis. Two. Ray keeps it going with Billy Moore. Big tackle from Blackburn, but a penalty against South. Blackburn has an argument with Billy Moore. Well, here's the tackle. There's nothing illegal about the tackle in the context of the body contact, but he may have been in an offside position, of course. The referee seems to adjudicate on that. 
There's a good slamming tackle that really sets him down on his back very, very hard. Last look from Conlon. This could put South out of touch. Has it got the legs? It's wide. O'Neill gets it to about eight metres out from his own line. Coleman has been trying to do a little bit more running in this second half. Give the defence something more to think about. And now with Thompson. Back for Lyons. Jarvis flew at him. He ended up on his back. Carroll. Pat hasn't done himself a whole lot of good there. He's still on his hands and knees. And believe me, when this bloke goes down, he's hurt. Coleman. That's a poor back inside from Maven. Out for Brown. Brown with some room to move. Giving it away to Blake. There's the little kick and chase, but he can't get there this time. Or can he? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Well, no try. Well, we want to see this again on the head-on because uh, Phil Blake's an electrifying sort of a player. Maven's got the ball at the moment. The pass comes back. Now, Blake's going to get it right now. Here he comes. Now the little kick. Now the race is on. Is he quick enough to get to it? Well, the ball was clearly forced by the North Sydney player in advance and uh, being the old pro that he is, there's no question that Phil Blake uh, tried the referee on there. The ball is underneath the player and then rolls free. Well, there's no question about it in my view. You, you saw Soden in there getting injured. We'll take a break while he's treated. 13-8, North Sydney leads South Sydney. This is Friday Night Football. Welcome back to the football stadium as Mark Soden is stretched from the field. Billy Anderson, what's the story? It looks like he might have injured his ribs, and That ball was underneath him, of course, when he went down and tried to save the try. And they're looking at some sort of rib damage. A lot of interest over the fellow that's gone on to take his place. It's David Wright, number 17, the English import from Witness. Running into trouble there. Solid hit. Jarvis was in there on to make the tackle. He's still injured again. So was Sinclair. But the penalty's gone to South. Yes, there's no doubt about the contact that Carroll puts on uh, the replacement player, the uh, player there that came in to tackle him, Jarvis. He put in a, a very, very strong uh, shoulder into him. Knocked him a hollis bolus. I think he's bleeding from the face now at the moment. Well, you saw the trainer signalling uh, for a, a head bin stint for, uh, for Pat Jarvis, who's been in the wars. He took a heavy knock just a few moments ago. 13 to 8, North Sydney have the lead here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Well, the head bin for Pat Jarvis. And uh, Bill, who's the replacement? Gary Smith in 24 will get a stint. Gary Smith on while uh, Pat Jarvis is recovering, if indeed he can recover. Now, Charlie Saab is 35 metres out, almost directly in front. 50% record for Charlie tonight. Strikes it pretty well. Looks pretty good in the air. In fact, it's a very good kick for Charlie Saab. So South's get a little closer, but the Bears in front. 13 to 10. This is Friday Night Football. Billy Moore. Cross the paddock, back up the middle. Florimo was just ankle tap. Still got it away. Martin. There's a chance. Kicked over the top, taken out of the play. It'll be a penalty. Somebody will be in the bin. You would think that would have to be the case. He's used the bin already. Well, we'll watch it here as Martin goes through and the shoulder is put into him there by Charlie Saab. He's taken out of the play. There's no action with uh, the bin. Uh, there's a penalty comes to the uh, North Sydney side from about 15 metres out. It'll be taken by Conlon and about uh, maybe 15 metres off centre. Here again on the uh, Nissan replay, another angle of it. Now watch, there's the uh, kick being diffused, but Charlie Saab was the transgressor who uh, put the shoulder into Jason Martin. Lucky not to have had a stint in the bend. 
Lake's already warmed it, and Charlie probably should have on that occasion. Conlon two from four. This kick. And South will need a converted try to steal it. Almost looking up in hope. Maybe that is why. From close to the post, he missed an important one. 13 points to 10. They're heading it up the middle. Ray keeps it close for Gary Smith. Quickly out of there himself with support. 11 metres away on the last tackle, the Bears. Right in front of the post. Jason Martin with a bomb for Charlie Saab. They go up north, they've got it. I think it's Larson. He climbed high above Saab. That'll wrap it up for the Bears. There's an astonishing try, but here it comes. Up she goes, as high as he knows, and that's around about the height of the goalpost there. I was looking carefully to see that he was onside. Larson was, took it beautifully, leapt the high on the air. We'll see it well from the head-on replay. Up goes the kick. Martin was the kicker. As high as the goalpost, and they're pretty high here at the Sydney Football Stadium. And there's Larson, a beautiful action picture of a beautifully taken bomb. And that's as good a four-pointer, which will probably translate into six points very, very soon. Well, that's got to be a, a marvellous try for him. He's always been a very good player, this young man, but hasn't been able to command a first-grade spot on a regular basis. <laughs> I'm selected. I probably think he might be there next week after that one. Conlon. Stretches it nicely for the Bears. On their way to two Winfield Cup points, they're leading 19-10. to 10. Bill Anderson, just a comment from you on this, the... The whole of the North Sydney side endeavour to get to their feet quickly and play the ball. Why, why have they do it and why don't South Sydney not do it? Well, maybe maybe conditioning's a part of it. They look to be a very fit side, Rex, but I just think they're aware of it. I think they're alert to it. They're keen, they're confident, they're, they're thinking about playing football. Maybe South Sydney just got their mind on other things at the moment. Well, yes, it's, uh, that's not a bad explanation, but uh, it really is a winning formula when they do it, isn't it? Well, now here's an opportunity for Tony Ray to pick up the loose ball. This is another try. Tony Ray rewarded for a good game with that try, picking up the loose ball. No one in front of him. Well, let's see it again on the Nissan replay. Blake, they're playing catch-up football at the moment, of course, trying to spin the ball whenever they possibly can. Coleman gives it back in the inside there. The flick pass by the uh, South Sydney player. Tony Ray scoops up the dregs, and there were plenty there, and he sprints away about 20 metres to score a try, and he's got a smile on his face like a Cheshire cat. He's the captain of a winning and successful football team at this point in time, and uh, these tries, of course, at the end of the game are uh, lovely, but they're not... Uh, the, the winning of the game has taken place in the earlier part of the game. This is great stuff. Look at them all. They're all laughing now. Everyone's, everyone's happy. Everyone's friendly. It's great. <laughs> There's a, a vast difference between the winner's uh, side and the loser's side. The losers have got very little to say, and some of those that might make mistakes, like the fellow that flicked past there, uh, he wouldn't want to be looking at anybody. Isn't it amazing to see North Sydney players smiling like that at this stage of a football game? Yes, indeed, it is. It's, I, I can't ever recollect... Uh, North Sydney being as uh, competent and professional as they are at the moment. Except but I only go back 50 years. Well, I was going to say, when you saw them win the Premiership, now <laughs> the kick is unsuccessful. But uh, that really doesn't matter at this stage of the football game. 23 to 10. And uh, Tony Ray got back to get to the dummy half roll again and, and went straight through them. And it's been touched by a South Sydney player, so the Bears get six more. It's come back for Florimo. They're not done yet. Still six to go. Kev just outside the South Sydney corner. The Bears hungry for more tries. It's a cross for Martin. Quick oh. hands through Moore to Conlon. And away it goes to this Darren Wright. Darren Wright's given it away to David Hall. And that is another magnificent North Sydney try. <laughs> oh, beautiful hands in there. Oh, yes, just absolutely beautiful. French is a dummy half. Gives it out there to Martin. Martin quickly away. The ball went from hand to hand. Conlon was the next one. And then we've got the Englishman, David uh, Wright, number 17, who finally gives it out to Hall and Hall's in in the corner. 
God, they can orchestrate tries when they get themselves on top, can't they? They're all screeching for the ball now. Everyone wants to run with it. It's just amazing the difference uh, that uh, the enthusiasm that takes over in a winning football team. Well, there's Hall going in for what was a first-class try. Great bit of chain passing. And David Wright, well, you'll be happy to hear the Englishman did exactly as he was uh, supposed to do. Got the pass away very quickly. Beautiful hands from Billy Moore in that yeah, straight away. Billy Moore was very finely tuned in the middle there. The funny thing, I had, an, I had a sort of a... A minor thought before they scored that try that they'd probably put on something spectacular to finish with. <laughs> They've done that. <laughs> well, you saw Pat Jarvis, the veteran, and look at the looks on the faces of the South Sydney players. My goodness me. Mario Finnegas shakes his head. Well, he's not going to kick this one <laughs> <laughs> Well, they haven't done too many things wrong, have they? Here's Coleman from the touchline. Well, he can't do that. Pushed it away to the left. Siren sounds to bring to an end this football game. And North Sydney and the North fans absolutely delighted with that performance. And why wouldn't they congratulate each other? This is a vastly different North Sydney side that we see in action now. Yes, indeed. There was the long and the short of it coming off there. But let's have a look now at the scorers and the way the whole thing went. For North Sydney in their 27 points, Moore scored a try, Hall scored two, Larson a try and Ray to, uh, one. Conlon kicked three goals, Soden a field goal. For South Sydney, Blake scored a try and Charlie Saab kicked three penalty goals. So 27 points to 10.